Hello everyone, how's it going? This is SK here, and today I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on a thing I like to do with slime blocks in Snapshot 14W18A, or B. I think it's actually just B that has it. But anyway, what I have here is like a little vertical TNT launcher. I'm not really sure what this could be used for. You might be able to do something with it in faction rating, but I'm not really sure. It's mostly just enjoyable to me because it's funny. But anyway, I'll give you a quick demonstration. And you see here, it dispenses the TNT onto the slime block. Repeaters come around and launches it with timing enough so that it doesn't damage any of the redstone we have down here. Now you can also do a version over here with a hopper clock that's putting it on a constant timer. So we'll plop that in real quick. And what that does, it'll, it'll dispense it out, launch it up, and as it comes down, you'll see it'll push another one right back up. And so it'll continue on a loop, quickly going through... I think I have it about perfect timing, and it will just continuously launch things until it runs out of TNT. Again, this really doesn't have too many purposes. You might be able to do a cool defense system with this, where like the you put this underground and the block above it comes out and this goes shoots up and hits whatever you're trying to defend yourself from. But I can't really think of anything else other than that. So quickly, we're just going to remove that TNT so we don't have to listen to that. I will now show you quickly how to build one. So you're going to need the building block here, dispenser, sticky piston, down, slime block, remove these two blocks, building block there, button of either kind, redstone here, redstone here, repeater, 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 redstone, repeater, redstone, repeater, 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 repeater. And you're gonna set all these back to three or four. Yeah, it's four ticks. And then all you have left to do is load it. And you can put TNT in, hit the button, and as you can see, it works just like it did over here. And we just built another model of it. Now, if you want to hook it up to the hopper clock, I'll quickly show you how to do that because it is pretty cool having the hopper clock on there, I'll be honest. So now you're going to need to run redstone here and here with redstone there, 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 and run a line back. About two blocks would probably be safest. And right here, away from where you're doing it, you're going to put one hopper down, hopper to face that, break this hopper, and have them so they're facing each other. And then you're going to want a redstone block right here, sticky piston here, and here, two blocks away from the redstone. Then you're going to need two comparators, one on this side of the hoppers and one on this side. And then any sort of block, as long as it's not transparent, block there, redstone, and redstone. And now, like I said, I didn't say this, actually, about six items is your best bet. It'll give you about the perfect timing to do everything that you need to do. So as you can see, the items will cycle through, launch it down, the timing will go off. That'll launch up, and we'll repeat it. Now, six is a little fast. As you'll see, the TNT will actually dispense into the active slime block. So... The safest thing you can really do to prevent that is you're going to want to put obsidian blocks here, here, and eh. No, not there. Here. The reason we're using obsidian is that slime blocks can't stick onto obsidian because it can't be pushed by pistons. So it'll simply, this obsidian will stay there, slime block will go up, and it'll come back out. So I think that's really all I have to show for this. I really think slime blocks are a really cool addition to the game. So you can bounce all sorts of entities like arrows or potions or TNT, mobs, minecarts, any sort of entities. So it's really cool. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you can find a way to implement it into your worlds. So that's all guys. Thanks a lot. and Bye bye.